Okay, so let's say that we've just finished creating our portrait set for our particular faction which uses the heretic religion in the Northern European culture as an example. Now, this is obviously an example set. As you can see, there are quite a few duplicates already, but we're just going to do this for the sake of example. We've Let's say we've only made 55 portraits for our set, which is a pretty good number for uh, making it a low probability of having multiple generals as the same portrait. This is not enough uh, for our mod, because if you look in the rest of your general folders, you will notice that the rest of these have 201 files, and so all of the general folders have to have the same number of files in them. Similarly for civilian folders, they all have to have the same number of files. So we need to make duplicates and then rename them to have exactly 201 files in this folder. Otherwise, if the game assigns a number to a file that doesn't exist, then it'll bug out and just use a random UI element for our general portrait, which is not what we want. So what we can do is we can control A, control C, and control V, and then continue control A, control C, control V until we have at least enough files in the folder. And currently we've overshot it by 24, so I'm going to go ahead and delete uh, 24 items and then copy and paste the last one so that we have exactly 201 items in the folder. Now obviously these are not correctly named. The game will not be able to use these files that have you know the word copy or numbers with parentheses and all that. So what we're going to need to do instead is right click, hold shift and right click and open the Windows PowerShell. And now we're going to put in the text commands that I included in my text guide. And we're going to put the first one in and see what happens there. And what will happen is it will run through iterations until every file has four digits. And we only want it to have three digits, so we need to lop off that first digit. So then we're going to put in the second command. and that should get rid of the first digit for every file. And just like magic, we will have almost the correct set of files. Uh, as you can see in our case, uh, we have one that isn't named, so we're just going to name that one 200. And that's it. So obviously renaming that one file was significantly easier than going through and manually renaming all of the files in our portrait set. Uh, this will save you a lot of time.